Hey guys, it's Tacoma Comics here, and I'm doing a contest and support video for a Poor Man's Comics. Uh, Poor Man's Comics, I think he's at 150, 200. Gosh, I can't remember. Um, and I don't know why it keeps going dark like that. That's just freaking me out. I've got the sun behind me. The computer's trying to adjust. I don't know. These guys are idiots. Um, computers, that is. Not Poor Man's. Poor Man Comics, great guy. He's always uh, dropping in my live chats when I'm doing a live video. And uh, it's really see him around the community a lot on uh, auctions and other other live events. And just a really great guy, stand-up guy. He's got a lot of great uh, comics in his contest. So check him out if you get a chance. The comic en the contest ends tonight. All right. Um, he's got two things for the contest. You can do A or B or A and B equaling C if you have some sort of weird variables, uh, numbers for those variables. Um, and A is show off. You like your best bargain buys, and B is show off your um, spec books. So some of my bargain buys are sort of spec books, but I try to split this into two piles, um, two groups. And I apologize to anybody who's been watching me recently. I've gotten a lot of bargain books recently, so some of this might be a little, um, gosh, this dark light thing is driving crazy. Some of this might be a little bit repetitive. So anyway, um, everybody's specking on this now that they've said the profit is going to be... Uh, in a movie or a movie about the profit, this is Youngblood 2, 25 cent pickup. So this is definitely a bargain book. I don't think you can call it spec anymore since everybody's on it already. Um, clearly this one um, is beyond spec at this point. Uh, another 25 cents pickup, Ultimate Fallout number 4. This is the first appearance of Miles Morales. I believe this is the second appearance of Miles Morales. If not, it's the first... Um, issue of his own comic with him in as Spider-Man. So there you go. Um, flip that around. This next one was, a, I think it's a $2 pickup. Uh, Batman 635, first appearance of Jason Todd is the Red Hood. Now this one has some spine ticks, so this is not like the $100 raw or $200, you know, high grade book. This is definitely like a $40, $50 book, but you know, I'll take that for $2. Um, that one should not be there yet. Sorry, my friends. I know I put it there, though. This, I think, is, is my greatest find. This is shoe number one. You heard my story. There's a tape pull here. Uh, it was so crazy. I found this for $1.50. I went running through the aisles to like pick up my kids to go pay for this in Half Price Bookshop. And um, as I was running through the aisles, I opened it up to make sure it was the first print and not a second print or anything. And when I did that, I ended up um, getting a small tape pull there. But still, for $1.50, I've been looking for this book forever. Uh, this one doesn't command anywhere near as much, but it's still not like, uh, you know, it's still not a cheapie. And I got this for buck fifty as well. If you've never read that series, pick up the trades. It is so good. So, so, so good. Okay. Um, more bargain buys. The first um, cameo appearance of Domino in a flashback, X-Force number 8, that was 25 cents, ignore the price sticker there. And then um, the first full real appearance of Domino, not as a uh, villain called Copycat or anything, but as herself um, in X-Force 11. Again, those are 25 cents. Another 25 center, uh, first appearance of Ghost, Showed this one off last night. Uh, if you did not see Ant-Man and the Wasp, please go see it. It's a lot of fun. And the character of Ghost, her costume was just phenomenal, man. It's really, really cool. All right, so now we're on to our um, specs. Everybody's sort of specking on this since it, it already got option for TV show, but it's a Kirkman number one. It's not like a lot of people didn't notice this or that people didn't buy it. So I got it for two bucks. I could sell it for like $2.50. It's not really a spec book yet unless that TV show takes off or something. Um, Huck is one of the shows. I screwed this up last night, man. Um, there are actually five shows that Miller um, has coming out on his Netflix uh, deal. One is Huck. One is Jupiter's Legacy. One is Empress, not Mistress. One is for a comic that he hasn't even put out yet. 
and I can't remember the name of that one, and one is not for Magic Order. I thought Magic Order was already going to TV, but apparently I got that wrong as well. So I had a little uh, screw up in my information last night if you were watching my live video. Uh, specking on this a little bit because I, Astro City did get optioned. Um, it's really, really great, phenomenal series. I absolutely suggest you, you check it out if you don't know it already. Um, Kurt Busiek's Astro City. And then uh, definitely specking on Marvel Rising. This is going to be the new cartoon um, animated show. I guess they don't call them cartoons anymore. They call them animated shows. Uh, and so there is Marvel Rising Zero, which was the free giveaway, which I still don't have. i got to get. Then there is Marvel Rising 1, Miss Marvel and Squirrel Girl. Marvel Rising 1, Squirrel Girl and Miss Marvel. And, and then I guess the other ones have these other characters. Quake and Miss America and Captain Marvel and whoever this jumping guy over here is. Patriot. Iron Patriot. Thank you. Oh, and then just this... Patriot. Just Patriot. Just Patriot. Did he used to be Iron Patriot? Never. No, so he's just Patriot. Yes, just Patriot. Good thing no, you no. have a son who watches YouTube all the time. Nope, and, I need to learn that from YouTube. And this one down here? Who's this? Inferno. Inferno. That's and Inferno. Inferno. And is this Quake here? That is Quake. That is Quake. Is. Okay. So Quake and Inferno and Miss Marvel. My gosh, if you guys... Uh, did not get Matt Rosenberg's Secret Warriors. Um, highly suggested. It just it was a super fun comic. Really, really well written. Yes. This is my last um, spec book. Uh, I really would love to get the ash can of this, but um, you know, it's it's not going to be a super huge like find like Chew Number One was because everybody knows what a talent Rob Guillory is for storytelling and, and artwork. So. Um, it's going to be, uh, it, it might be a big hit, it might not, um, but the comic will never be worth as much as, like, the Chew number one was, but still, I'm, I'm specking on that, I expect it to do good things, let's put it that way. All right, uh, so, poor man, there you go, there's some bargain books I got, and some spec books I got, congratulations to you, and hope I upload this and get it <laughs> in on time for your contest, which ends tomorrow, January, uh, January, July 29th, everybody, so... Get in it. Get on it now, man. This is your last chance to show some love to a poor man's comics. All right. Tacoma Comics says goodbye to you all.